Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. In this reading, I will be looking at the current energies for you. The person on your mind. The new person coming in if you're looking for a new person. And other details. Let's shuffle four times. If you are new to the channel, welcome as well. And I invite you to subscribe because I post daily. You can check the schedule of the readings. It is in the description box below this video. Two more shuffles. And the last one. Let's start with the energies around you. Ace of Cups, the world, Ten of Swords at the bottom. Okay, Libras, I have great news about you. Now, you are coming out of a connection or situation that was very hurtful. Feeling betrayed, a painful ending, unexpected. You didn't expect that to happen from this person that was very dear to your heart. You try to be patient with them, you try to find some balance, but no matter what, it ended in a painful way. Now you have this kind of pain, maybe some of you are suppressing it and it is in your subconscious, but the good news is that with that Ace of Cups and the world, you have around you some big potential to start a new love story, it seems to me like a new person, with whom you can build something successful. I have fixed signs here, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. So Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius, and water signs are emphasized, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So Scorpio might be emphasized here. It is telling me that it will be a very important, transformative experience for you as well. This seems very good. Ace of Cups, a new love is emerging here. Some of you might have already met this person. But let's see. Let's start step by step and analyze all the energies. What is affecting you in your subconscious right now? You still somehow miss this past person, especially those beautiful memories there. Ten of Swords is again at the bottom of the deck. This is about this painful experience, yes. You're still longing to some... Uh, uh, beautiful memories of the past. What was the main challenge with this person? Page of Pentacles. Either they just saw friendship or friend zoned you, or they didn't express or were honest about their feelings with that moon card. And this just brought more confusion to the table. There's resistance in a possible interaction or resistance to open up and move this forward and that is something you don't like you want more vulnerability and openness three of swords you have been hurt let's hope it was not a third party situation but it is possible that the person you were dealing with was dealing with other people as well was keeping their options open and possibly not telling you about that and you f figure it out later or find it out or came to this conclusion possibly but this is the position of your fear so if you're thinking about restarting a connection with this past person you fear that the same ending might be possible that this person might have not learned their lessons and that they have not healed completely they are not aware completely about their behavior or they do not tell the truth. That is your fear. Now, before jumping to this person that is on your mind and looking at the energies, their current energies towards you especially, let's first look for the new person. The next new person coming in, what is their possible energy? Let's see some details and then we will go back to the person that is on your mind. So about the next new person coming in, if you're looking for a new person, what is their overall energy? Ace of Swords, you have clarity here. It, this person does not bring confusion to you. Uh, King of Swords is reversed. Now, this seems a person that holds too much anger or bitterness to themselves. So they might seem very balanced, but I'm getting that you are mirroring each other on the same stories, ending stories of a past love connection. So 
you both similarly ended a connection in the past and they have so much bitterness they seem very collected content from the outside but it's not if you look deeper or you spend more time with them you'll see that they have some bitterness or upset feelings about a past love story that's how you will get to know who is this person i have a sagittarius air signs aquarius gemini libra maybe another libra I'm getting a person that is very reflective, thinks a lot, and does not want to show that big motivation since the very beginning. So I'm not getting this new person chasing you, being highly motivated, uh, insisting too much. No, I'm not getting that. And it is because of what has happened to them that is making them behave like this. But do they have interest about you? Look at that, the lovers. They feel love for you. They are attracted to you. Two of Cups. Look at that. Two of Cups, the lover. So this is a highly interested person into you, but they will not express this to you. How will you know if this person is interested? You will see about when you start talking to them, that they will reply immediately, constantly, uh, answering your questions, or they might not be the person that sends the first message. But if you send a message to them, they will reply immediately with long text and so on. That's some subtle details that you will notice immediately about their interest. Okay, so now let's go back to this person that is on your mind. Let's see about their current energies. What are their current energies? Towards you, how do they view the connection? Eight of Swords, they're trying to... And they are very upset with you, first of all. Very, very upset. And that's why they keep this distance. But do they have desire for you? Yes, they do. They still do, and it is very strong. Still very strong, but they don't want to let that be known for you, to you. So... This is a person that is trying somehow not to stay in their head about you, not to think about you, but it's not something they can control because with that Queen of Wands, they still have a strong attraction for you. They want to be with you. But they are very upset. They are very angry. Why is that? Why are they so upset and angry and mad at you? The High Priestess, because you are not talking to them. You're keeping the silence. That's why. What is on their mind? The love that they had for you. So they had feelings for you. They think about that. Do they have any plan of actions? They want to be patient. They don't want to rush anything here. Okay. I'm getting a person that is trying so hard to hold their feelings and attraction for you. I'm not quite sure how successful they will be with this attempt. Uh, this is a person that is in highly inner conflict here. On one side to do something to express this. On the other side, they are holding back and not wanting to do that because they are so upset with you. Because you are not... You have not been talking and also they know this connection was highly dramatic and heavy and they are trying to focus on that aspect of the connection to help them not to open up now this was the general reading if you want to know even more details about this person about their current energies there's an extended video in the description box below with even more details about them libra this was your reading if you liked and resonated with this reading Please hit the like button and share the video if you want to. It helps a lot the channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post daily. Thank you for watching. Wishing all the best. And I will see you the next reading. Bye for now.